kids, welcome to Nash. Looking forward to the school year, aren't you? Well, you've heard that some things need to be done a little differently this year, right? So let's start by masking up. Nope. That's better. Okay, now let's head in. If you're not planning to grab breakfast, you should head straight to your first period class. That's right, no lingering on the first floor before the early bell. By the way, lockers are accessible only before school, before and after lunch, and after dismissal. As for attendance, all excuses should be sent electronically to Ms. Fenton. Another important change this year is the installation of escalators to replace the stairs. Well, okay, but the line might work on the juniors. Teacher not there yet? Well, that's okay, you'll just have to wait. On the other hand, if your first period teacher is already there, walk right in. What's up, young learner? Already bored with class? Or do you need some water? Well, okay, let's head over there then and I'll tell you what's different this year. Whoa, 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 not so fast. All water fountains will be off limits this year. You'll need to use the bottle filling station. That's it, boy. No water bottle. Here you go. Ah, yes, young scholars, gym class. Note that there will be no changing clothes for PE this year. But you still have to try. Hey kids, great job keeping at a safe distance today. Remember at all times during the day you should observe social distancing guidelines. You're almost done. It's last period. There it is, the dismissal bell, but not so fast. This year there will be staggered dismissals at the end of the day. Wave one for the first wave of buses. Wave two is for student drivers and parent guardian pickup. And wave three is for the second wave of buses. Got it? Okay, so are there any questions on what we covered today? Is any of this going to be on the final?